I loved singing, I loved belting on stage. I used to put on shows for everyone. I'd dress up and I'd dance and I'd sing for them. I went into full-on lung failure. I was in a coma for around three and a half weeks. And after that, I had to be on oxygen. And so that's when it changed. On 9-11, I was the first responder. I got there soon after the first two towers came down. They say I've lost about a third of my lung function. I haven't sung since 2001. My name is Gareth Malone, and I've made it my life's work to get unlikely people singing. That's what we're doing here. And what's your particular breathing difficulty? I have cystic fibrosis. I ended up with COPD. One side of my lung has collapsed. I actually had a vocal hemorrhage. I have asthma and I have an autoimmune condition. Breathing for singing is, just needs a little bit of thought and a little bit of warming up. <laughs> <laughs> a little, like a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Claire? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Okay, you're just speaking. <laughs> <laughs> that is talking. Yeah, and what you're doing is actually making life harder for yourself because you're you're going da 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 da, wasting loads of breath. Oh. Every game you play. This is the bit where you're going to be going <gasps> at the end of it. Every move you yeah, make, that's so much nicer. Every move. Oh, yeah. Just at the very right. end, um, just I take a little yeah, breath before yeah. you. I think people are going to forgive you. This morning, I was singing in the shower. Not stuff from this performance, but just singing. It just came to me, you know? Hey. Is it true? <laughs> yes! You probably want to know where we are performing this. Yeah. It's known as the birthplace of dreams. It's the Apollo Theatre. So on the edge of dying or on the edge of pain, it's terrifying, but it comes down to a moment where you have to really think, is this life going to be one you're going to be proud of or not?